Hey Lux Travelers, looking for a Caribbean paradise getaway? Well, in this video, we're going to talk to you about where to stay, eat, and do in Anguilla. <laughs> Before we jump into where to stay, let's talk about getting there. We flew into St. Martin, then we took a 30 minute fun time charter to the beautiful Anguilla. As you guys can see, it's pretty windy this day but it was gorgeous so we certainly enjoy the gorgeous views upon arrival we took our PCR test then we proceeded to immigration which is pretty smooth and very fast and then on to our hotel where to stay there are a number of luxury hotels and resorts in Anguilla. To name a few, you have Cap Jaluca on Monday's Bay, beautiful bay. You have Malioana, which is on Meads Bay, another gorgeous bay. And then you have a plethora of luxury villas. For us, we stayed at the peaceful Zemi Beach House located on another gorgeous bay, Shoal Bay East, which is on the northwestern side of the island. So beautiful. The property was very intimate. You have two pools. One is an adult pool. You have another pool, which is a family pool, a beautiful infinity family pool that is. So gorgeous right beside the beach. You have a must experience blissful spa, just totally blissful. We stayed in a very comfortable and spacious ocean view room. Just prepared to be pampered and spoiled. The staff here were the best. They're definitely a highlight of the trip. We have another video coming out with our full experience here, so stay tuned for that video. Hey Lux Travelers, before we move to the culinary experience, have you been to Anguilla? Do you have any favorite places to stay? Leave us a comment below. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We bring you luxury content. Smash that button, please. So where to eat? So for us, we stayed at Zemi Beach House. So we ate most of our meals at Zemi Beach House. Breakfast is included for all the guests. Lots of options. So you have pastries. You have fruits and cheeses, you have meats, you have grilled vegetables, and you also have eggs, whatever style you like. You can dine at one of Zemi Beach House's restaurants. They have casual dining restaurant, which is 20 knots, serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also serves the pool as well as the beach. They also have a Caribbean night at that restaurant on Wednesday nights. We were not there for that experience. You can also dine at the fine dining restaurant which is Stone and that is open Thursdays through Sunday so plan accordingly. And finally you have the sushi bar which is Bohio bar and lounge. 
You can choose to venture off to some of Anguilla's local spots as well as other hotels. You can dine at other hotels right down the street as a, as a matter of fact on the same beach as Zemi Beach House you have Gwen's Reggae Grill so apparently the rum punch is pretty strong so Marvin tried that um, and then also they have live music on Sundays guys oh my god it is so nice and the water is a little bit rough today because it's windy but can you imagine when there is no wind super beautiful gorgeous hey guys I mean our first impression of this beach is absolutely gorgeous I mean the sand is super white it's soft I mean the bay is gorgeous I mean the beautiful shades of blue in the water and we have this awesome band playing in the back like the vibe is like nice it's like vibe in here like this right here is probably big mar style right <laughs> that's right <laughs> so this is anguilla just really nice vibes just relax everybody's so nice here and just chill right <laughs> cap shack which is at cap jaluka so right on the water you have food, drink, live music on Sundays as well. When we went, it was very lively. It was a very windy day though, but we had a great time. This is Shoal Bay West. So this is a beach on the Caribbean side. And specifically at this little restaurant, it's Trattoria Tremonto, a very quaint little spot. So we stopped for a nice beverage. Uh, nice spot, nice food. Hey guys, we'd appreciate your support by subscribing. Smash the button, please. We went to Tasties, which some of the locals recommended. Good service and the food was mostly good. Um, they mixed up Marvin's order, but apart from that, my lobster was really nice. Let's talk about what to do. Anguilla is a paradise Caribbean island and perfect for getting away. So one of the things to do is relax. So a number of ways to relax. Um, you have pools. So at Zemi House, there are two pools. So you can choose the quiet one, which is mostly the adult one. No, there are the handy one by that pool. Or you can choose the um, main pool, which is where all the action is. You can also relax by the beach. So you're on one of the best beaches in Anguilla. I mean, beautiful white sand. This is Shoal Bay East. So this is one of the 33 beautiful and pristine beaches in Anguilla. <laughs> Anguilla is only 39 square miles, so pretty easy and quick to get around the island. We rented a car, they dropped it off right at our hotel, and we explored the island. So we checked out many of its beaches. There are 33 in total. And here at the Zemi Beach House, um, it's on one of the best beaches, maybe the best beach in Anguilla. So leave us a comment on your favorite beach in Anguilla. indulge in wellness activities from the gym there's a nice size gym to um, yoga that's actually offered at the spa and in speaking of the spa I mean the Thai house spa is phenomenal so okay. juice bar you have the haman just a nice sanctuary And lastly, Zemi has a pretty unique rum tasting experience. This is, this is very nice, so um, enjoyed it a lot. 
we are going to have another video with our full experience at Zemi Beach House. So you'll see a lot more spa as well as this rum tasting experience. Thanks for watching Lux Travelers. Hope you've enjoyed our Anguilla video. Next up is our full experience at Zemi Beach House. Remember to give us a thumbs up, comment, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Until next video, love yourself, love others, and gratitude for everything under this sun. One love. <laughs>